Hey everyone, it's Brianna and in today's video I have a ginormous back to school try on haul. Just to let you guys know, I'm hosting two giveaways right now. One is through YouTube, so if you're interested in winning any of these products, then make sure to click on this picture or the link that I'll have in the description. And I'm also hosting another one through Instagram, so if you're interested in winning any of these items, then check out my Instagram and look for this picture and it'll tell you exactly how to enter. Also, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click this button right here and you'll just be updated every time I post a video. Anyways, let's just get started. So the first couple of things I have to show you are from Urban Outfitters and this first item I'm so excited about. It is this high-waisted camo print skirt and it's like very, very good material and great quality. I got this on the sales section of Urban Outfitters probably two weeks ago and I think it's on sale for like $20, which is really good for Urban Outfitters because their stuff can be really pricey. The next thing from Urban is this little lacy bralette and I don't know about you but I hate wearing bras to school and there's a couple tops that I own that you can't really get away with not wearing a bra with so it's always good to have a little bralette the last thing from Urban Outfitters is this bandana and yes I realize you can buy bandanas anywhere for like a dollar but I've never seen a nude color one so I thought this one was really cute the next place I have a few items from is Brandy Melville the first thing from there is this cute little silky cami and a lot of you might be like uh Brianna that's not school appropriate whenever you have a cami or something that's not like two inches or whatever your school dress code is you can always throw a jacket over it the next item i have it's this really pretty dusty pink color and this one's more full length I also really like this one because it has this lace detail. Next from Brandy is another cropped white top. What I like about Brandy Melville is their crop tops are longer, so they don't have the ones that really expose your stomach. So if you wear something high-waisted with this, you'll be completely fine. And the last thing I have from Brandy Melville is probably the most obnoxious thing in my wardrobe, and it's probably also my favorite thing in my wardrobe. It is this really bougie faux fur coat. It's just so soft soft and it'll keep you so warm. I probably won't be able to wear it until like December. I like to just like wear it around the house, just like pet myself. The next place I have stuff from is an online boutique called Sorella. I've been following them for the longest time on Instagram and I was like, okay, let's just make an order. So I finally did. The first thing that I got is this plain black t-shirt and it says girls tour on it. It goes with so much because it's just a basic black shirt. You can wear it to sleep and then wake up, just put on some denim shorts and just head out the house. And then from Sorella, I bought a bunch of accessories. The first two I got are these, which are the same things just in different colors. It's just like this stretchy shoelace material. You like tie it around like three times and then it's just... A choker. So I got it in this light nude color and then in this more taupey brown color. I also got two of their denim chokers, which they are very known for. So I got the black one, which I'm obsessed with. It's super, super distressed. I also got the light blue one, but I cannot find it anywhere. And the last choker I got from them is this really beautiful silver one. I just think it like dresses up any outfit. So the next item I have is from Topshop and this was on sale a couple weeks ago and I'm pretty sure they don't have it anymore but I'll try to find a similar pair below. But I just got these really awesome denim jeans. I really like the two toned on the jeans how it has like a darker wash and a lighter wash. And another great thing about this is it's made out of recycled denim. But the next items that I purchased are all from Misguided. You guys know Misguided is one of my favorite online stores of all time. The first thing that I got is this Guns and Roses like really cool t-shirt. I think I'm gonna distress it and make it like super cool. Next from Misguided is this really really simple top. I thought it would be perfect for back to school. You can pair it with so many things. For most schools, at least my school, the sleeve is big enough so you won't get yelled at. The next item that I have from them is this cute little striped play suit. I really like how it's off the shoulder I know that might not be school appropriate so if somebody yells at you just put it like this and just like when they're not looking put it down you know the drill the next thing I got are these pair of sweats I'm living for these sweats they totally give me Yeezy season vibes I need to wash these because I haven't washed them yet and I've already worn them 20 times yeah I need to wash them the next item I have to show you is this really nice blouse. I love the wrap over detail that it has. I love the material of it because it's so lightweight. So even if you are in a hot climate, 
you can wear this. The next thing for Misguided is this t-shirt dress, and I really liked this one because it was like a band tee, but in a dress form. What I do is I actually tie a knot at the side, like at the side of my leg, and make it a little bit shorter. If you're in college, you need these, even if you're in high school. These are another pair of high-waisted sweatpants. If you are taller, these ones are definitely gonna be ankle grazers though, so I'd go with the other sweatpants that I showed. And the last thing for Misguided is just another bandana choker. I've been obsessed with them, and I didn't have a white one, so I was like, let's get a white one. These next items are all from Forever 21, and the first thing is this really beautiful wrap-over dress. This is a longer dress, it goes down to like probably a little bit above your ankles I would say. I'm obsessed with the nude color of this dress and how it's like wrap over. Next thing from Forever 21 is this little tattoo choker and what I really liked is that it's like clear. It's just a subtle choker so if you're not really into chokers but you want to try them I would definitely go for this. The next thing I have is this really really lovely little button-up shirt. I like this one because it's a little cropped but it's long enough so if you wear something high-waisted you won't get in trouble at school. The next thing I have is this really adorable like wrap over shirt. This one you can tie in a bunch of different ways. You can tie it in the front like how I have it or you can wrap it around your waist. There's so many cute things. Next thing I got is this really nice pinky nude baseball cap. If you're in college and you have a bad hair day, this is the way to go. This next item is a little bit more formal unless you like to be extra like me then this is perfect for you. I think if you're in college and you want to go out to brunch or if you have like a little date I think this would be so so beautiful to wear. And the last things from Forever 21 are socks. I don't know about you but my school was always freezing cold. It's always good to like have an extra pair of socks like if you're wearing flip-flops and you have a test or something like that and your feet are freezing so you can't concentrate on the test. Just pop these out of your bag, put them on. Who cares if people judge you with their little frozen toes? You'll be like a loser at least I'm not freezing like you are. The next place I have stuff from is Zara and they were having a massive sale so of course I had to get some stuff. First thing I have is this little play suit. It kind of looks like a dress that a toddler would wear but I kind of dig it. It actually has a pair of shorts underneath. The only thing I hate about this dress is the buttons in the back. Since it's a play suit you have to take the buttons off every time you go pee. Unless you want to pee all over the dang thing. <laughs> Next from Zara is this really basic t-shirt. First of all, I really like any type of white shirt with black font on it. Secondly, the font that they picked is just my goals. I'm obsessed with this font. And the last stuff I have to show you guys is all from Calvin Klein. I was lucky enough to be gifted these items because I went to VidCon and they had like a little booth. So thank you to Calvin Klein for gifting these to me. So the first thing I have from Calvin Klein is this denim jacket. And this is actually a men's denim jacket. I really, really, really want to distress this and like put patches on it and put pins on it and all that kind of stuff. I think it's going to be so cool. Also from Calvin Klein, I got this really awesome sweatshirt. It's one of their famous sweatshirts. Oh my gosh, softest thing in the entire world. It just says Calvin Klein jeans on it with a CK. And then the last two things from Calvin Klein are two pairs of shoes. So these first ones are really dirty because I wear them almost every single day. I've been searching everywhere for them, but I don't think they come out until spring of next year. And the last thing I have are these high tops. Every time I wear these, people literally think I'm wearing Converse and they're like, wait, those are Calvin Klein, what? So that is it for today's haul. If you're still watching, leave me a comment down below and tell me what your dumbest school dress code rule is. Just leave me a comment down below and we can all just roll our eyes together. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and I will see you next time.